Okay, cool. Um, coordination call, second in Jan. Welcome everybody. Um, why not? Why don't we start off with any shout outs and kudos? There's some folks in the room here. There's been lots of conversation this week. So has anyone got any uh, kudos or shout outs to give people from this week's work? I'm going to give a shout out to Kay for holding it down. He's been doing a great job from the 30 days and just like really being active. So shout out to Kay on that one. And everybody else just showing up here today. Thank you. Oh, I, I, I got a shout out. I'm pointing out some issues with the uh, Eden protocol and uh, they got that stuff fixed really quick. So shout out to Tom and the team. Oh man, that means a lot. Shout, shout out from me for, for coding with Manny. He jumped in as a, basically a project manager for labs and I think it's really a boon to have him um, set up all these boards and I just, I just have, have to, to look, look at, at the, the, the Kanban, Kanban board, board and just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> write <laughs> stuff, you know, it's pretty, pretty awesome. awesome. I, also I also have a shout out, out um, for both for Kemp, Kemp and Patrick. Patrick. Kemp for, for taking the time to um, add uh, comments, comments in our Figma and really kind of, you know, know helping us. I mean, there's, there's really like I should shout you out for, for that, yeah, yeah, that could check you out for like the like next 30 minutes. minutes. And then Patrick, Patrick for, yeah, yeah testing, testing it and, and pushing us and into it for, for helping us push uh, to build a better product. Uh, really, really appreciate it. You know, all the impact. But it has huge impact on the way we build it. So, thank you. Shout out to Marcus for shipping loads of development stuff for Academy Turbo V2. And also shout out to Brian Five, possibly Tito, for stepping in to give us a bit of help with uh, cleaning stuff up for that ship. Cheers, guys. Nice, love it. General shout out to everyone from me for sort of getting involved in um, a lot of conversations this week. Um, it's good and healthy for the DAO, I think. And uh, yeah, looking forward to 2024. Um, so we'll roll on into kind of team updates to try and keep them brief because I think there's some topics that might take up a fair bit of space in the call. So Billy, you're off, I think maybe the default person here from Labs. Is there like a, a quick update on what's happening? Um, I, I really, really want to coordinate, coordinate with Cody with Manny. I know he's been heads down for the bear chain launch that just launched today on testnet, testnet. So congrats to him. But I think he's been a little bit quiet since Friday. So I need to get an update from him about where we're at with certain things. We have the near workshop. Like I have my tasks on hand. So the near workshops are set. Scroll is pretty much set. Um, Hero has been asking to try to move some stuff around, um, so I need to get approvals or what for that. But other than that, we're looking good. We're looking good for getting partners set up for March. Uh, a lot of chats, a lot of chatter of, of what's going to be next, how we're going to handle stuff. Again, no hackathons until uh, we're done with the first quarter. Get ourselves organized and find a good flow. Um, but other than that, it's it's pretty much we have our task on hand and we just have to execute. There's just a few more things we we need to get covered. But that's all the update for me until we make some changes. Okay, cool. You guys are tracking what's happening. I know you've created this this other notion. Um, is there like a calendar? Like, is there any way folks can see what's happening or? Um, the, 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 the calendar, calendar I'm referring to is still, still the same, same calendar, calendar that, that we have created once. once let me pull, pull that up really, really quick. quick. It was, it was the, the initial, initial one on there that I'm using okay, cool. for uh, uh, developer now. now. So that's, that's still the ongoing, ongoing calendar, calendar up to February or the second, second week of February, and then we go into ETH Denver anyway. But that, that's that been the default calendar I've been referring to and putting stuff on there. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, cool. I will um, maybe try and put that in a place where it's easy. Until, until we, we add, add more partners, partners or anything that we're going to do the voice of, of where, where things are going, going until, um, until, until here's, here's, here's basically the last one on that list for February 12th. And, and then, then from there, we have, have not necessarily, necessarily booked, booked anything, anything 
officially just yet. We're waiting on a couple of approvals, but I guess when we sync again, either Friday tomorrow or next week, early next week. Cool. Yeah, I still haven't spoken to um, to coding. Um, somewhere or another, it'd be good to kind of make sure that whatever we're doing is in a, a shared space, so folks can um, yep, yep. can follow along. Um, but like, I'll I'll leave that for another day. And um, I know he had some some reasons why he's moved. So just figure out whatever works best for everyone. Okay. Uh, Academy, Mark or Pablo, do you want to go? Next. Yep, yep, sure. sure. Um, the, the team's, team's working, working towards, towards a, 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 a version, version 2 MVP release date on the, the 24th, 24th this, this month. month. So there's, there's content, content migration, migration going on as, as, well, as well as the um, building of the, uh, the, the foundations of that platform. platform. Um, with, with some content, content in the pipeline. So I've got um, first round of reviews for Raza and Scrolls, Scrolls first lesson on the platform is back in his court. court. And um, yeah, yeah, I think, um, um, so, so, so we, last week we uh, sort of decided, decided and announced that we're opening contribution, contribution pathways back up via coordinate. So, so Gabble's roped in, in like Brian five and maybe Tito as he gave a shout out to. And we, we open this up to to, um, to jump in and get, do like, like a, a pass on some of the, the existing content to make sure it's not stale or out of date and still works and that kind of good stuff. So we're um, we're trying to open up those those pathways um, in in focused ways, as can be pointed out. The the risk of um, like over focusing on um, like the like process, process uh, ahead, ahead of shipping. shipping. So we're, we're looking not, not to, or like, like we're looking, looking to keep a healthy, healthy balance, balance of that. that. So okay. just dragging along. Nice. Um, one thing that comes to mind for me and like, is uh, it's really great to see that, that progress in those courses going live. Uh, there's gonna need to be, I think, or at least a conversation about like labs and academy collaboration in terms of when these courses go live in terms of promoting them. So I don't know if that's something we want to have the conversation about now, but like as those courses go live, we obviously want like maximum ROI for, for everyone, for members, for, for partners, for the people that created the course. Um, yep, yep. How do we make that happen basically? And this is kind of, to K and labs, and then also you and the academy. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. So I've um, started only this morning, morning kind of like the, the release, release planning, planning guide, guide here. here. So, so one of my to do items is to, is to kind of craft some of that strategy. strategy. Um, we, we put out to, to Raza and, and to Billy the projected, projected um, or like, like the targeted, targeted release, release date, date. It, and, and we. we mentioned that we would love to have um, their content ready by that point so we can make a big announcement that includes their organizations and then yeah we'll basically a to-do item is to um, chat with labs team to sort out some of the specifics there i think we're only like just now at a point where it makes sense to start to have that conversation real quick jump in on that one before you um uh, Ethan uh, basically, basically said, basically that, we said that we have to have, have all our stuff ready by uh, Saturday, Saturday of this, this of this week. <laughs> so <laughs> all shift has been focused over that. that. So I'll continue, I'll continue that, that until, until I know it's not until, until the end of February, February, but they want all their stuff for sponsors um, done now for some crazy reason. So all all our focus energy. So I'll come back to it in about a week, roughly. This is just a heads up since I have you. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate the the update there. If there's anything I can do in the meantime, Billy, please let me know. I'm available. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just Eat Denver just changed, like, like dropped the rules of, like, hey, I know everybody else that's not a uh, sponsor, sponsor has until, until, like, February 1st, 1st to do so. But if you're a sponsor, you have until, until like, the 13th for him to do this. I'm like, what? <laughs> so we all got, uh, you know, bombed on that one. Good luck. Yeah. That's API free stuff, Bill, right? Nightmare. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's basically, basically anybody doing uh, talks, talks, sponsors, sponsors workshops, workshops, all need to be uploaded and everything done, done then, and, you know, you know while everybody's working on announcements and trying to finish tech before announcements, announcements. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have to have, have a, a workshop around it. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll get to it for sure. Okay, cool. Do we want to leave an action item here for, like, this conversation to happen, I guess, between um academy and labs on like how we how do we get the mvp out with maximum results for uh from a marketing perspective yeah so, so i can i can, I can take the first steps, steps there, there. Um, um is there like who is the um the right first, first person, person to start, to start this, conversation this conversation with is that k or is that billy coding Co 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 with manny would be the ideal person, person as he's the coordinator for for, for the labs team, team. Um, cool, cool. I, can I can relay stuff, stuff but yeah, 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 yeah it, it, it better, better go to the go source. source. I, just I just know today's, today's not, not the best, best day because of the launch. launch. Sure. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll reach, reach out to him then as an action item. item. Cool. Nice. Uh, ah. It's weird. I keep clicking the shared screen rather than the the notion page um okay cool awesome thanks guys um who have we got next we've got eden here tom you want to give her like a succinct update of where you're at Excuse me. um so yeah, yeah we've, we've i've been, been just hyper focused on just selling job, job slots, slots and um great news, news because, because of the uh, uh revenue, revenue. So, so we have revenue and there's revenue coming back, back to the dow, dow. Uh, we, we sell, sell their, their first, first job slot, slot at 250 bucks. bucks. It's, it's a, a pilot. pilot. And I'm, I'm literally, literally working my ass off to make it worth, worth it for them. them. I literally I created, created this, this whole. Um, 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 let me show, show you. You. Uh, <laughs> you want to post it? Are you going to share your screen? Oh, yeah, I created this. this. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to share, share my screen, screen real quick. quick. I have this whole timeline where I think like every day I'm sending these guys videos. I'm literally like. It, it, like, like, just, just in terms, terms of my, my time, time, it's very, like, like so, so much more than what, what they've paid, paid, but that's, that's the whole point. I'm just, just trying to, like, really get them super excited. excited. So, yeah, so, yeah have, have this whole kind of timeline of each week, week um, what, what we're doing, doing, where we're going. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to create, like, like uh, promo videos for this job, job post. It's um, just a senior several position. Um, so yeah, and then we're also talking to Stacker Labs. They're they're potentially also gonna go. I'm trying to like see where how far we can go with the pricing, what we can do. Um, but yeah, uh, very excited about this. Like this is like we've got paying customers and, and um, also working on um, a way to, to to just yeah make, turn this into a whole um, kind of growth wheels. So I'm, I'm, I'm like got literally. Um, have automated, automated messages, messages going on LinkedIn, LinkedIn have automated, automated messages, messages going on Twitter. I'm, I'm, I'm going full growth uh, sales. Uh, so, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty excited about, about that. that. Um, and then also in terms of the product, um, we're going to switch to dynamic probably as our, our um, um, in, uh, as our, as our login. We have some issues with, with, with Google and, and then also we just want to add um, um, uh, we just want to add uh, support, support for wallets, wallets and because, because we have this really cool, like we're, we're working on this really cool new idea with the keys. keys. So basically, so I don't know if I've talked, talked about this before on here, here. Um, but we're, we're working, working on this, this, this idea, idea for multiplayer referrals. referrals. Um, and, so and so what, what you'll, you'll be able, able to do is um, you'll be able, able to buy somebody else's keys in the DAO or in the... Uh, yeah, yeah, now and that would basically function as a function of uh, a function of credibility. And so, if somebody, we're also working on kind of like um, we're I'm discussing this with Fala right now, like if they'd be willing to put up a bounty and into an escrow, and if then uh, somebody that you know ends up getting hired, um, and you are a key holder of that person that is getting hired, you will get a piece of that referral. Payment. And so, so that's, that's also, also a really sustainable, sustainable business model potentially, potentially for the DAO itself, where if you want like, you know, your, your affiliation, affiliation with the DAO to be kind of a very signal, you will be able to trade in 
um, or like mint that badge from 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 the DAO, and then the DAO will hold the keys of the people. If I'm not making that much sense, I will explain that a lot further. But I just wanted to dump the idea here because that is a really exciting idea that we're working on. Um, the TLDR for it is that I think it's 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 a DAO and a business model that scale and align all the incentives um, everywhere. Of course, in the meantime, um, we're gonna honor the the agreement that we made around just like like um, um, uh, you know the, the, having the jobs being sold. I think that's like we want to basically just make the, the jobs work, and that's our only focus. So like that that revenue will flow back to the DAO. Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm just, just selling like, like fucking crazy, crazy guys. guys. Like, like I, I, I'm, I'm turning, turning into a sales, sales machine. machine. I, can't I can't wait, wait to get, get many tips, tips to become even better. better. I think you just, just wanted to see me move, and it's like this, we're, we're making moves right, right now. now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's that's those are the main updates. updates. Cool. Uh, uh, Tom, real quick, dude. Uh, uh, as as soon as you get to the point where you're ready to switch to dynamic. Uh, feel, feel free, free to talk to me because I'm building the uh, Argo Academy with Dynamic right, right now, now. And there's, there's some really interesting, interesting nuances for uh, client side, side server side um, uh, uh, issues, issues using their authentication process. process. Um, and, and their, their documentation is heavily lacking on the, on the server side right now. Right now. I'm working, I'm working with, with uh, Dynamic CTO, CTO to uh, to kind of like grab like some, some of the documentation, documentation and. Um, and, and, and I'm doing some testing for uh, for Versailles authentication for them right now. So when you get to that point, come talk to me. So, yeah, we are getting to that point when we're deciding either preview or dynamic. So you would say, watch out with dynamic? Not saying watch out with dynamic. Anyway, we can have that conversation another time. Yeah, I'm not saying watch out with that conversation. Perfect. Cool beans. Cool beans. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, those are some updates. Dope. And you've obviously shipped your proposal, right? <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, absolutely. It's super important. important. We did, we did ship, ship our proposal. proposal. Um, please take, take a look at it. Please uh, do, do hold back in, in all your thoughts. Mm. I think the proposal is, is like, as, as we're, we're talking, talking to all these, these uh, companies, right? Like, like they're, they're, the one, the one thing, thing that they're, they're all asking, asking is, like, okay, how many people are already mapped out? How many people would that might be able to reach directly? directly. All of them are looking for ways to do kind of direct outreach. Um, and so, you know, with me, we now have a way for them to understand who to reach out to. But we obviously need, you know, as many people um, mapped out on Eden in order for that to be attractive to uh, these hiring managers. Um, and so the proposal is really geared around, okay, how can we basically kind of yeah, use, use code, code to incentivize as many people as possible to, to, to join the network. The but then there's a the second order effect that I think is very interesting, interesting which is um, that this could kick off like a whole fly, like a whole fly wheel, um, the code token itself. Um, but because I basically like, like you know, um, I mean, these, these are discussions that we could have in the future um, or right now already, but basically like, I, um, Making, making I, I, I think there's, there's a case, case to be made for, for um, making it like, like making, making some, some of the, the jo like the jobs only, only proprietary to, to DD members, members in this way, way. Uh, and that yeah, will then drive up demand demand, demand for for, for the DD token um, as we get more and more exciting opportunities. And, and you know, there's there's, there's window, window dressing things, things that we can do where like, like you know the, the first. first uh, two, two weeks, we members, members, members can apply, apply and then we open it up because maybe we don't, don't want to just like be restrictive in that way. But I think there's still opportunities to start thinking about how we can leverage DD jobs to, um, yeah, yeah, kind of incentivize demand for the DD token as well, or for the code token as well. Um, so, yeah, it's all in the proposal. Uh, feel, have a read. Um, give me your thoughts. I, 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 I get yeah, all like unfiltered, unfiltered please. please. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's those are dirty. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers, mate. Well, the thing I would say is in the same case as Academy with Labs, for Eden with Labs, like in order to get eyes on those jobs, like Eden's Twitter account isn't going to do it. The Dow Twitter account is going to have to do it, right? Um, similarly with the newsletter. So like some coordination between given Labs like holds those valuable channels between 
Eden and Labs, I think is going to be necessary here to make, to really make that a success. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely won't hurt, hurt that's, that's for sure. sure. Yeah, so I would suggest maybe like an action item similar to Mark's and like maybe these things come together as like speak to speak to coding about like how we can achieve that um like maybe i don't know what that looks like maybe there's a set amount of space that other folks get on the twitter account i don't know but um f i think for both of these things to be successful because the the dow twitter account has all of that weight i think it would be crazy not to not to look at that um sort of collaboration and coordination between the two are you all right with that tom Absolutely, yes, absolutely. Yeah, what we were doing in the past was weekly summary, job summary, which is quite easy, but like maybe there's better ways of doing that. No. Uh, I don't know. We'll leave that for now. I mean, yeah, happy, happy, happy to try, try like, like happy, happy to try whatever it was. Cool, yeah. I'd say speak to coding and K and, and see what you get to. Okay, cool. Go beans. And this is by no means. Was there? Go on. Sorry, Sorry, quick question. question. Is, like, is, is, is there, there maybe um, a case to be made, made for like creating a different, different Twitter accounts? Like, for example, like a BD Jobs, jobs account. Like a BD. Because if you were. Because I feel like, like, you know, the whole the DD Twitter, the whole DD Twitter. Um, there's just like a lot going on. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen the engagement numbers, um, but there might be a case to be made because like if I'm looking for a job, uh, maybe I only, you know, I want to follow BD jobs. Uh, if I want to learn, maybe I want to follow BD Academy. Like, like, I think there's a BD Academy that's separate from already, right? So maybe, I don't know. That's just a um, We can grow that from the There is a DD jobs one. I'll, I will. Send, send you the, the password, password and whatever, whatever you can take it over. Yeah, okay, awesome. Boom. Boom. And, then and then maybe, maybe there's like collaboration to be had between the DD main account and like the DD jobs to kind of grow them, but like, like more sporadically. So we have like higher engagement. And that, that makes it easier as well to keep a, a targeted person in mind that we can talk to and we can keep talking to. It. That makes sense. Yeah, completely makes sense. Um, cool. That was a nice, easy solution. Definitely still worth that collaboration, coordination chat, though. Um, give it bootstraps. I think Manny got it to a decent, relatively decent place, but rather than kind of continue to um, dive into that, like take it off, off, off coordination call, and then I'll probably get to a good outcome. <coughs> okay, cool. So we're around about at the halfway mark, just real quick. Um, this isn't a real team yet, so maybe I'll just put it down at the bottom, but Patrick, have you got to go in a second to meet Mike? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I'm meeting with him in 15 minutes, so yeah. Okay, so the TLDR of where this RPC conversation is at, developer DAO RPC is, um, we didn't apply for the gateway demo um, RFP or grant application. Um, the idea now is to build a very, very simple MVP and resell requests from definitely Grove, maybe Nodis as well. And I think we have Patrick on the front end at the moment. We have Crypto on the back end and OX Fresh on sort of DevOps Docker. Um, that's right, right, Patrick, I think. Yep, yep. Sweet. Cool. And then Patrick's chatting today. You were chatting to Mark, to Mike anyway, right? Mike's the founder of Grove. Um, what's the hope today for the RPC? Uh, uh, honestly, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, actually getting, getting going to this meeting to get some more context, context as well as, as uh, talk to Mike, Mike uh, about, about involvement, involvement and everything on this project, project too. So, so uh, 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 I'll, 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 I'll be able, able to follow up with that after this meeting. Cool, man. Uh, sweet. 
Good stuff. Yeah, let us know what happens. Do you want to drop an update into that RPC channel with where you got to? Um, it really just feels yep, to yep. me like it just needs executing now, really. Um, but yeah, really yeah, I agree. to see what else you can you can um, you can find out. Cool, sweet. So rattling on to governance real quick. Perks passed. Um, Manny's here now, right? Uh, Manny on this. There's a guide of how we list perks. Right now, it's kind of hard blocked on me. And then if you can go in here and check if you're happy with this going to members. Basically, what we want is... Many, 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 many. Is he gone? Okay, I'll have to do that afterwards. Anyway, basically, this is up. I've created a guide on how to list them. It's hard blocked on me being the only person that can do it at the minute. But I just need to add someone else to the make account and then create like a guide that we can give to members for getting their perks on there so that's all done which is good um and then forum wise we've discussed jobs labs is kind of sat waiting for a template update um so i'm not sure what's the situation is there and then we obviously have the larger conversation that's happened this week with academy and argo so uh, i'm gonna i missed part of the conversation yesterday so i'm gonna tldr what i know um and then open the floor up to see if there's any other conversations. But basically my understanding of where this got to is there's space for both to exist, both experiment. Although they're in the kind of same space, they have kind of a different focus, one video, one text. So the outcome of that conversation seemed to be, let's raise them up both to snapshot with the votes that you can see on screen um, and sort of move its governance for the community to decide. But like broadly speaking, the, the outcome was felt that um, there's space for both to like um build and experiment and kind of see see how they how they work so i'm going to stop there and just kind of open up the floor really like before we move forward with that everyone who's involved in that is on this call like is there any further perspective or considerations or anything that folks would like to share I'll just defer in case people have questions, I'll answer questions, but I think uh, all the details and everything I've kind of laid out on either forum or in, you know, on, on Discord yesterday. Um, well, first, thanks to Patrick for uh, doing a, like a surprise demo and fielding a bunch of questions and um, like, like yes, yes everybody's, everybody's invested, invested so, so definitely, definitely some, some some tensions there, there some emotion involved but um, um from my my perspective, perspective um i'm well i'm, I'm I'll, I'll, as, as is the, the custom, custom uh, um, i'll be abstaining given involvement with the academy as one of the projects related to the vote so, so i'll just state, state my my position here, here. I, I think, think that, that um i would love to see um, both, both projects, projects be given a chance, chance to succeed kind of thing. So, so I think a, a successful DAO means a lot of experiments, um, especially low risk, like, like possible, possible revenue generating experiments. experiments. And um, I, 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 I think a healthy DAO is one that helps members projects succeed in the general sense as well. So I wanna see both do well. I wanna see both given a, a shot um, and yeah, yeah, I whatever, whatever the outcome, the outcome I, I I wish Argo and Patrick well. Um, the um, from current vantage point, I think um, another thing that might be like helpful context. I don't know if it's true yet, but this is kind of how I'm seeing things at the moment. Is that um, I think long term vision. Um, uh, Argo looks, Argo looks like, like a more, a more outward facing, facing um, very public, public utility, um, posts, posts like courses, courses and courses and certifications and documentation. And, documentation. and um, one of Academy's big goals is, is really to serve and provide value internally, internally within, within developer DAO, DAO, like getting people activated, activated within the DAO, DAO itself. itself. So, so uh, maybe, maybe there's, there's a, a, a happy, happy um, well, uh, and, and, and clean and fortuitous long-term vision that, that that includes both. So that's where I sit today. Um, much love to everybody involved.
Ja, al die wat die die kerk hebben en everything too. No, no hard feelings. It comes down as a win-win for everybody looking to learn, honestly. So I look forward to, to both doing doing their thing. Cool. Good stuff. All right, well, we'll get that elevated um, ASAP. Um, I think the other consideration for me is, like, it does the whole, like, over the last couple of weeks of these governance proposals coming up has created some really healthy discussion and, and debate. And um, even like thinking about uh, what we were talking about earlier about like the success of some of these things is kind of like reliant on labs and it's um, exactly where sort of certain things sit uh, and how well we're all collaborating together, like not super well defined at the minute, probably can be better. It's like there's some, some follow on conversations from here that I think are sort of valuable and healthy for the DAO that we should um, continue to have. Um, I don't have an answer for how to have those conversations. I think we've made some good steps today in like acknowledging them and setting intention for those conversations to happen. I wonder if anyone else has got any thoughts on that topic in general, in terms of how we kind of give everything the best um, sort of stab at success and how maybe we can get the the sub DAOs um, collaborating a little bit, a little bit better, rather than so much uh, working in silos, which I think is probably a, largely a product of the, the structures that were put in place and driven by me last quarter. But like, I, I'm interested to for those conversations to happen, and I'm wondering if anyone's got any perspective right now that they'd be interested in sharing, or um, or anything they'd like to see happen. <laughs> Yeah, I got a couple of things. Um, like quite often, this this coordination call is, you know, very uh, quite rightly so. You know, everybody's busy. You know, everybody's working in their own domain, so they come with updates. Um, it's basically this call, like a check-in call, this is not to see what's what's going on. So it has this sense of formality. Um, <clears throat> From my perspective, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening in the DAO that uh, I think if we, if we want to if we want to be like collegial with each other, you know, like uh, of, you know, um, I think the idea of like having having like an informal call on on, on in, instead of like having to like you know look for documentation to see what, for example, people's role description are. Just like, like have, have a social, social call, call, you know, it's like, like hey, what, what are you doing in the DAO? Like, like you know, what, what, what how's that, how's that going for you? And then you, you get, get like a better like understanding, a better awareness of, of you know, know, what is actually, actually happening in the DAO and what people are doing and, you know, who they're collaborating with. And I mean this in a really sort of informal and social way. So, yeah, just to get the ball rolling on an idea. Yeah, I do get that sense as well about this call at the minute. I'm obviously the host of it, like maybe me always hosting it and sh maybe like sharing that around could be a, could be an easy win. Um, I th like the, 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 the situation right now is like a lot of the collaboration is, is happening independently at the team level and then folks come here for an update. Like I wonder if they're, is a, a a path for us to get to a place where like we have shared goals and ambitions that we've kind of aligned on and uh, kind of working towards them collectively and i think that's a bit of a process to go to, to, go to but if i just share a, one point of reference sorry for whoever was about to uh for about to speak but just give me one sec to share something but if you take a look at Pocket DAO OS um, and also Gitcoin, these DAOs have aligned very clearly on like specific intents or specific 
high level goals and then projects that help them hit them hit those goals that's a big place to get to but i think it, that, as an ambition getting towards something like that would be healthy um and i wonder like is there a way where we can kind of bring this collaboration up i'm not exactly sure how to do it um but yeah whoever was going to speak then do share your thoughts but this is kind of what's on my mind of like how do we break down those those walls and those barriers and, and get folks collaborating or well, do people not think that that's the right way I got a bit distracted, like, like reading, reading the, the text of the link you sent. What, what, what is, is the, the, the concrete, concrete suggestion? suggestion? <laughs> I'm not sure. That, and that's the problem, right? It's like, there is, uh, the DAO has a mission that I think everyone believes in. It's quite uh, broad. And we're kind of in a position at the moment, I think, where sort of a fire has been lit to, to get stuff done. We're coming into a bull market. There's some interesting conversations happening about switching up the membership NFT. There's all what we do with code and like all of this stuff, right? So a healthy journey through that is like somehow we all get aligned on these topics and like work together towards them and like some of them overlap, right? Like maybe the if we do do a membership NFT and then we choose a layer two for that, maybe it makes sense that we did academies attestations on the L2 and then there's like a bigger project there. So it's these kind of lines, I think. Like, do they make sense to get aligned on? If so, what would folks like to see happen to, to, to try to get aligned on those topics? Hopefully that helps, Mark. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the general idea yeah. speaks to me for sure. I think that, um, like, it brings to mind Web3 Con from Once Upon a Time, where it really felt like it brought the DAO together and a bunch of disparate domains, um, all kind of excited about a single thing. So, I like a big ambitious goal like that, like a shared goal like that. Um, but as we know, it's, it's a big lift, so it's also a lot to ask of, um, whoever will be the primary orchestrators of it. Yeah. Another thing that comes to mind is um, you mentioned a user survey to check in with the members and see what they care about, what they want to see happen or engage with or what they're their goals are personally, what they were hoping to get out of developer DAO, what they might like to if they're given a blank slate, that kind of thing. I would love to have some more data and insight into what could drive the community in a, in a single direction. Yeah, I've kind of paused on that. If I'm like, I think that really is really healthy for that to happen. I kind of paused on that because um, I don't know, I kind of found myself on a bit of an island in between uh, lots of different stuff going on and like maybe didn't feel like I had the, I can't think of a better word, but like the, the support or the political capital to kind of like push that thing through with meaning, if you know what I mean, like make it happen and then it influence change. Um, because like if I just do it in isolation and like folks aren't along for the ride it's like i feel like i was i guess i was worried that it would have less less meaning right so i guess yeah well part, part of the if, if, correct me if, if i'm mistaken, mistaken i think it's some of the amb ambiguity or uncertainty, uncertainty comes, comes around, around um like, like number one you, you sort of pivoting outside, outside of labs, labs but also labs, labs being like, like a, uh Sort of the, the DevRel arm of the DAO, but also like the de facto operators of the DAO. Um, so I do see like uh, the potential to have a like a, a cleaner sort of. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how to phrase this. So just spitballing here, like a, a, a cleaner 
architecture for like now operation that that falls outside of labs and maybe that's just talking in in nice to haves obviously because we don't have um, the the treasury to just um, pay a lot out to DAO operation as much as I would like to. Uh, so yeah, I think. Some, some some clarity of, of, of that role, role definition within labs, I think, think might help uh, the bigger, bigger picture, picture as well. well. I, guess, I guess, yeah, I'm interested, interested here where, where you end up, up uh, given, given that, that you, you are, are <laughs> occupying the, the nebulous, nebulous space that, that is like DAO operation, operation but, but now just outside, outside of labs. labs. Yeah, I mean, like I... So like I made that decision because I felt like there were, uh, I became very burnt out trying to take, taking on too much in labs. Um, and a lot of the fundamental quote unquote DAO stuff that I had ambitions to do I wasn't I just didn't have the time to do and like there's a, a couple of things going on there is, is I took on too much and like it's very clear now that I've moved away that other folks have stepped up and pick up where that I was doing that like that could have just been done a while ago so that that was part of my mistake last quarter um but like these all like everything that we're doing is interconnected right so um if uh, but it's about how we structure around those things like if if i didn't do uh the like the ops side of it or these calls didn't happen or whatever then like it's going to end up ultimately affecting labs or academy if, if labs doesn't do anything then the dow's not making any money at the minute and like no one's supported um and uh where that leaves me, like I'm, I don't, right now I don't really know in terms of like, yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I know that this, that stuff needs to be done, but it, it does kind of just like leave me on this island and it, does, it doesn't feel like it makes sense for like the right intentions, wrong outcomes in terms of that decision, um, I think. Uh, the, the 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 stretch end goal for me would be like much better alignment across the DAO and like still folks paid for value created rather than the experiment of last quarter of like um salaried which I don't think worked as well as we'd hoped um but like rather than there being such a a clear divide between like labs academy um and particularly like particularly labs and academy and like folk things that are like a like really structural parts of the DAO. like is there a better outcome where like these two groups are like collectively planning together working together in the same space and like it's acknowledged that like everything plays into each other part it's can i respond, respond to that, that? Yeah, go for it, mate. Of course you can. Yeah, yeah I'll I'll you. If you want to finish, finish off your point, point, go for it. it. No, nah, I've got a habit of waffling, Pablo, so you probably saved me from another 15 seconds of, um, of uh, stuff I'd already said. Okay, you got a fellow waffler that's going to take your place then. Um, uh, I, like, I, I created a proposal there a couple of weeks ago. It would be nice if that was actually advertised in the proposals uh, channel. Um, and it would be my hope to actually look at that proposal as the glass half full as opposed to the glass half empty uh, on trying to solve some of these issues because if i can put it like you know sort of in a, in a, in a if i can use the analogy of like uh like you know polit political parties for example like you know or, or some kind of like uh yeah, I'll yeah, just, just use, use like, like political parties, parties and I don't, don't mean anything to do with politics, politics like, like, you know, but <laughs> if you have like a, a project like, like, uh, um, like, like, like Academy, like Labs, like, like, like Eden, like, like um, uh, you know, Patrick's, Patrick's uh, 
new platform or, 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 or whatever, you know, like every, every one of those groups has its, its, its own interest as its priority, even though it might try to um, prioritize the whole. And, and that, that, the, the, the proposal I have for governance is like taking a couple of, uh, a couple of sort of expert, like, you know, big contributors, like, like people on this call to take part with a couple of people that could be those members that Mark, you were talking about having a questionnaire to see what, you know, DAO members are, are really into, you know, getting that silent, uh, um, gray population, you know, the people that don't really have a say together with people that really have a big say and actually, um, uh, see, see, see what the DAO needs. needs. Like, and I don't mean the DAO as in like, you know, us mm -hmm. 10 people in this room, but I mean the, all, you know, the couple of thousand token, the token holders. Um, yeah. And then like, you know, like, you know, like my, my, my vision would be to, uh, eventually, eventually, uh, like, like create this, this membership token, you know, like the uh, devs for revs token and actually couple that on a, on a soul band token, which has your demographics on it. And we could like call people up, like I put in the, in the proposal. And then they're always getting this turnover of uh, a bit of expertise and a bit of, um, curiosity slash naivety or slash ambition or, or, or uh, daring to try something completely different that these um, quote unquote, uh, very knowledgeable people like us in the DAO, uh, you know, to try and try and balance that out and create homogeny. Uh, uh, yeah, that, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. I'm with you all the way until Soulbound Token. Um, that's, that's something, something way in the future. That, that would be, <laughs> yeah. that would be the ultimate goal. And my ultimate goal for that would be like, uh, every population around the world and all the governments around the world in whatever form that they are, everybody's got their crypto wallet and everybody's got a soul bank token and everybody's going to be called up just like jury service to do, to join a citizen's assembly on all these really difficult issues that we suffer from around the world that don't get solved. The things that the politics don't want to talk about. Yeah. Um, like... The, the 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 spirit of it and the, the approach of it i uh, i i vibe with so i think uh, like um sort of scaling it back to something that like we can that's exactly what i proposed Ken. i proposed like 10 people i didn't propose like 150 people doing demographic sortition and a whole a whole country i was just talking about the people that we know get it off the ground, iterate on it, and just find a, you know, a few people that are willing to be like, okay, I can, I can devote, you know, three or four hours of my time for, for three or four sessions in the next month to try and, uh, get, get this running. It doesn't have to solve a problem on the first round, but it's the idea of like slowly but surely getting those silent token holders out and trying to give them give them a reason to come out like you know hey we need your help to direct the DAO. simple as that yeah like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 i'm oh you got an echo mate yeah, all right, all right. so i'll stop waffling by then no, no the waffle's fine i'm just hearing myself like five times um what was i gonna say yeah i think it's fine like i think it's i think it's good like what i would like to see happen is basically what you're suggesting i would like to see all of the contributors and any members who are interested come together for a session where we explore what's working with the structures of the DAO at the moment what's not working with the structures of the DAO at the moment what should we be doing less of what should we do more of so basically like a an in-depth retrospective to kind of really understand how the, the like people feel about it um, and then I think a survey as well would be good for signal, sort of higher level signal. It's got a lot more reach, um, but it, it requires people wanting to participate. We, we did do this after season one or season zero and, and folks were kind of into it. Um, 
something along those lines, I think, is 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 needed to align the DAO, um, particularly to align the, the people still here, still building the DAO. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not sure it like, maybe we can do it as a proposal and sort of compel people to do it, but like they, people need, they still need to buy in, right? If they don't buy in, then it's, it's going to be a challenge. So make it, make it fun. That's, 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 that's the start. start. Like, you know, the, the, formality. the formality, I think that's where we're, we're, we're sort, sort of, of um, um, personally, personally speaking, personally speaking, I just would love to see the, the um, um the, the idea, idea of community, of community being more prioritized, uh, which includes having fun, uh, as, as opposed to the whole like, sort of corporate type approach and, and, and form formality. You know, that's just that's what I miss, mate. I don't know. Maybe it's just because like I've been working here for the last couple of years, and, and maybe I'm feeling burnt out, and you know, just you know. Also, and I can hear other people are burnt out as well. And it's just like, and that'd be a way to actually, uh, uh, yeah, bond and yeah, get back to grassroots and crypto, basically. Yeah, I have the same hopes and hopes and ambitions as well. Um, and I think, whilst some of the conversations that were like triggered over the last few weeks have been challenging. They've been healthy at the same time, right? You're ripping off the bandaid for some of those, uh, for some of these things is, is always going to be, um, uh, it's always going to be a bit difficult. How, how to exactly how to make it fun. I'm not so sure. Um, I'd be interested for sort of input on that, but like, I guess, uh, uh maybe we can talk post Academy launch. <laughs> maybe we can talk, um, Banny Hill music. Uh, Banny Hill, Hill music. Yeah. That is to be fair. That is exactly what we did the last time, and I'm pretty sure it was Benny Hill music. We basically had a Figma board, and we just had stupid music playing. Um, that was a bit tricky for doing a retro mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, let me talk to you about it off 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 call because it's a it's a lot to, to unpack. But I, and I'll tell you how we did it last time, and maybe you can tell me. Um, how you might do it differently based on on kind of your proposal, and maybe we can find a happy path to to something that's like doable, achievable, and achieves kind of like the the the, the outcomes that we all want. Um, for those that are still here, just before we go, um, Manny and I have been speaking to. I'll I'll hit you up about that, Pablo. Manny and I have been speaking to Kyle, uh, Coach J, and Rena from Gitcoin DAO about how we allocate these tokens. Um, so the current plan is uh, we send them the 500,000 tokens, which is 5% of our supply to a safe that we've set up with them. We're going to set up another safe. One safe is going to be for voting and one safe is going to be just for holding code tokens. What we've been discussing with them is how we get them involved in our governance without them deciding, swinging every single vote. Uh, and where we kind of got to is um, the voting safe will never hold more than 5% of the DAO circulating supply of code tokens, which kind of maintains the original spirit of the proposal, sort of to allocate 5% to, to Gitcoin, but while still sort of considering the impact it has on our governance. And how that will play out in reality is we send all the tokens to the first safe, they send the difference to the other safe, and then each quarter we'll look at the circulating supply and transfer the balance from one safe to the other to kind of bring it back up to that 5% until all of it's done. So they're, they're cool with that. Me and Manny thought that was, thought that was good. Um, there's some conversations that happen about like how I participate in our governance, but like, quite frankly, I think having the governance coordinator and the like, like director of the Gitcoin Foundation involved in our governance and showing their perspective would be would be healthy, including them voting. So there's a, a couple of questions here. Is one, does anyone object to this plan? Just just, just quickly, quickly, um how do we how do we how do we ensure, ensure that, that the 
that we that they don't come in and use their, their uh, all of their voting weight to completely outweigh all our individual members so part of this is a social contract right so like do you mm -hmm. trust gitcoin dow or don't you it's like it's just a yeah. matter, of, matter of fact um in theory based on the governance proposal we should just send them 500,000 code tokens and they can do whatever they want with it right so uh, um a signal that they're not that kind of DAO is for me is, is, is quite clear, but um, uh, there is, you're still trusting people on a social level and these safes that are being set up have free Gitcoin mm -hmm. signers, free developer DAO signers. So that's have what? what? Have what? Three signers from developer DAO and three signers okay. from Gitcoin. Okay. Okay. okay another, another question, question is, is this what, what, how much, how much, how much code, code is actually in circulation? Uh, that's a good question. So, um, I like excluding that. that, that yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I know what you mean, mate. I've so I've I've, I've written all of this up, and I will share it to the forum uh, at some point in the next few days once it's finished. Uh, I, I, just I just mean, mean that as an insurance, insurance policy, policy of like, like okay, okay like, like all our members need to rally together because we've like, like been overvoted uh, by a half, half a million. million. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I, I'm, I'm with, I'm with you, man. That's the whole purpose of this, of this conversation. So, um, uh, so circulating supply, which is code that's not in the treasury, is whatever that is. It's about three point three, three point four yeah. million. So five hundred thousand is. 15% basically of the circulating supply. So even more important is the average number of votes in our governance proposals is 2,803,000. So it's their 500,000 code allocation would be double the average total votes in all of our governance yeah. proposals, right? So, yeah. which means that they would, they could come in and change the decision in any direction on all of these proposals, right? Um, mm -hmm which is not an outcome that's great for us. So they're happy to, they basically, they want to show up to develop a DAO in the most uh -huh. valuable way for us, right? As how they're seeing it. So like, it's my perspective that Gitcoin and the people that have built a hugely successful organization such as theirs and, and, and the people themselves would be valuable advisors and participants in our governance right but it's probably still reasonable that we don't want them to make all of the decisions um so where we've got to is that kind of agreement that we just i just spoke about and where that lands is they get this much voting power it's like 190 something thousand sorry oh shouldn't swear and um, 170 odd thousand which still um sorry, which still gives them significant weight in our governance, right? It's like half of the, the top votes, but uh, which is something to consider. But from my perspective, excuse me. I think that's a CEO. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's safe, but also it's like a forcing function for us to like get people mm -hmm. interested in voting in governance, right? So Manny and I in the background have been like um, uh, chasing, like trialing, trying to reactivate old members and you can see this start to come up so i think it's uh yeah. that's kind of where we've got to with it i'll stop talking yeah if, for, for me, me i, I, I could, could live with that okay Personally. and i wonder if anyone else has any perspective me and pablo have been talking a decent amount what, what, is, what is the, the getting return? return sorry if, if that, that like, like so, so what before, before but uh, Came out of it. Yeah, all good, man. So they sent us 50,000 GTC Gitcoin tokens way, way, way back, um, like shortly after the DAO was launched, which a lot of that was used to pay early contributors. And I can't remember off the top of my head what it was all, but I can provide that. Um, and that was about $500,000 at the time. Right. So this, so this is, is like, like a... a means of, of payment, payment in order to go from, from that initial election. action so we had a we we had a snapshot proposal where we did a token mutual token grant with them 
So it's already passed through governance a okay. long time ago. Set, let me share it into the chat. Uh, the initial token drop with, with Bitcoin was like the, the final election is this one, if I understood correctly. Exactly, yeah. So so we never executed on that our side of that transaction. What we should have done is just put it into the token contract when we launched it and like immediately they could claim. But we didn't do that. And then the loop never got closed. Like I've tried to close it. Uh, I've chatted with um, Scott a few times about trying to close it and we'd always get close. And then like one or of us would get distracted and we wouldn't hear from each other for like two or three months. Um, and then we saw I Coach... Yeah, we saw we saw the Gitcoin team at um, Istanbul, and we're like, look, we need to make this happen. Basically, so there's two things going on here. One is like honoring our side of that deal, and the second is like, how do we get Gitcoin involved in the DAO as like a as a partner because they've got um, a lot of opportunity for devs. We've got a lot of builders that want more opportunity, and they're a big ecosystem player. So it's it's part like executing on the deal, and then part how do we work together to like really take advantage of this partnership and, and do something from it without Gitcoin um, governance power, just being able to sort of have a like a uh, overwhelming effect on, on the DAO's governance power. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think that, that makes, makes a lot of sense, sense that, that given the tokens, tokens but, but not, not giving them the, the power, power to, to participate a lot in the proposals i think that's very wise but is that happening or is it just a call away uh, say it again protocol mate i didn't i didn't catch what you meant oh sure, oh, sure. Uh, if, it, if it, that's, that's happening, happening or it is just a call away uh, for doing it so so that this is the, the plan. Person. yeah so th so this is the plan that we've uh, agreed me so basically me and manny took it upon ourselves to execute this right because it needed to be executed so we've been talking to coach jay kyle and rena from gitcoin about how we can do this in the best way to try and like really make something of our partnership to kind of manage the impact and this is the proposal that we've got to together as like a just agreement between DAOs of like this seems like a fair enough way for for us to allocate the tokens which have already been which already should have been allocated but also like manage the impact as well as we're talking about ways that the DAO can try to partner together does that make sense totally okay cool so my plan is to post this to the forum obviously with a bit more context than three bullet points um i guess a question here is like do we think that Given the allocations already been voted in, should does this need to go through governance? Um, I'm not so sure, but I would. Mm. Uh, but that was that already approved. approved. I, I think, think no, but, but I don't know if anyone has, has an objection, objection for that. But, but it's, it's already, already approved. approved. I think that's, that's the whole, whole point. point. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's good. It also saves folks having to to vote on something that's like really a formality. Yeah, maybe, maybe just, just make, make an announcement, announcement about it and say, like, like, for example, example um, uh, okay, okay, you know, we, we agreed this with Gitcoin a year and a half ago, or whatever, or, or a year ago, and, and, and we're going to be, uh, we're going to be sort of signing off on this, this on the, I don't know, the 15th of January, January uh, just, just bringing you up to speed. speed. And basically with no, just presenting it as a formality instead of, doing it and then raising a lot of questions hey i didn't uh, why didn't you tell us about this and then having to explain afterwards uh no but hang on it was already agreed you know it's just like just like politely say hey by the way you know we're going to fulfill our agreement from a couple of years or from a year ago uh, on on this deal just bringing up the speed punt uh clap you know uh, full stop <laughs> did you just do that in gaelic yeah that's kind of where i was hoping folks would be okay with rather than like have to put the whole thing through governance again um so i will i will work on that and post it up and then uh the goal as well is to like actively get the communities working more closely together um 
so hopefully on the back of that post people can like suggest ideas and uh, and we can sort of cross pollinate between the two communities both in terms of like bringing Gitcoin's opportunities to developer down members for like grant funding and potentially like project funding which they're sort of exploring more and also um, what was I going to say uh, and bring uh, them into our org to like help us help us grow it um, uh, and so on question, question camp, camp uh, on, on the on, the, on gitcoin, gitcoin grants, grants are we, are we still, still blocked in the same way, way uh, that, that we, we can't, can't accept gitcoin, gitcoin grants through, through, through the foundation because they're seen as crowdfunding correct mate under the current structures yeah and like this is another like thread of thought that like of like a, this is another space that as part of the conversations <coughs> between all of the contributors in the DAO that I think needs to be looked at. <clears throat> like, how do we is start? It, is there is a, a, do you see a solution for that? that? Like, a, like a like a different and a different pipeline for that or what? Yeah, probably like a a slightly different structure. So either like open a a, a company that's owned by the DAO, um, or like figure out allow sub DAOs to start their own companies. Um, and would, would they, they have, have to be, be um, would they, they have, have to be, be uh, what's the word? Um, uh, okay, help me out here. Uh, 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 <laughs> would they have to be founded uh, uh, in, uh, on like in London or Amsterdam or Florida or somewhere like that? Or would they be also be able to do it? It kind of depends, right? That's the, all of these are like massively open questions. There's no restrictions on on what we can or can't do. What we there might be some like advice that we maybe should avoid X or Y. So, for example, do it like setting up an American company at the minute, like may or may not be a good idea. Um, yeah. yeah. But um, I think that the, the crux of it is like so much of these this like problem space sits with oh mate you've got echo sorry right um it's like how do we collectively start looking at these issues rather than like everyone just relying on on it being blocked by me right it's like how do i how do i share this responsibility with people not because i don't i'm not prepared to hold the responsibility but i just think it's like it's, it's these some of these are pretty big questions so like um I think it makes sense for uh, for us to, to sort of try and work through some of these together rather than like it just being stuck with me and no one else being able to contribute to it or input into it, um, if that makes sense. Yeah, ideally where I would like to see this go is um, we rethink the stewards and the stewards is made up of uh, definitely like very active contributors so potentially requiring sub DAOs to have at least one seat on the stewards and then requiring those people to like turn up for those conversations and then maybe having like similar to the model that you were suggesting Gablo like elected members on there as well and then like the stewards basically are the board of directors right for the DAO and can kind of make these kind of decisions because those kind of decisions are not suitable for like um the, the detail in those kind of decisions is is not suitable for like making as a huge community like they're, they're way too nuanced but you need to empower some people to do it but the problem with the current steward setup is we empowered these people and then half of them left like literally the next week so we we're kind of stuck um so my idea would be that we guarantee we stack seats with those stewards of contributors who are already here and have the context but so we don't end up in that position and also so the right voices and perspectives from each area of the doubt are in that room and then have spaces for community members as well to provide perspective outside of the bubble that the contributors maybe sit in and it would be these kind of things that they would decide on that was the 
the intention of the stewards last time. It's just, unfortunately, the folks that became stewards, most of them um, didn't had other things going on in their lives or whatever and weren't able to do it, which is which is fair. It's just a lesson that we we got to acknowledge and learn. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, go ahead. No, no, I was just gonna. I was just gonna say it. thanks to everybody. I'm gonna. I need to go and jump down there. Some work. <laughs> yeah, same. It was nice to get anything on what's happening in the dark. Um, I'm more than happy um, to contribute to the RPC campster. So I will. I'll post a message in the chat that you sent me. Love it, man. Great stuff. Yeah, thanks everyone for, for coming. As always, we ran over a little bit, but there's a, a healthy, necessary chat. So have a good week. And uh, yeah, protocol, drop a message in there. And Pablo, I'll hit you up about the proposal that you've got up and that idea. All right, All right. All right. cheers. Cheers, sure. Uh, sure. See you guys. Bye. 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 Ciao.